What if you could go back five years and buy NVIDIA stocks before they skyrocketed, turning a $1,000 investment into over $30,000 by mid-2025? But since time travel isn't an option, here's the good news. You don't have to live with investors' regret forever. NVIDIA's meteoric rise didn't just create millionaires, it taught us something bigger. Transformative tech trends like AI don't just crown winners, they reshape the entire playing field. Today, we're stepping off the well-worn path to spotlight two under-the-radar companies with market caps under $1 billion, both of which are perfectly positioned to ride the same decade-defining tech wave. Could one of them be the next NVIDIA-level success story? We won't stop there. We'll go further to determine if it's time to buy, hold, or sell NVIDIA stock. Whether you're chasing momentum, long-term value, or hidden growth, these names are showing strong potential. But before we dive into the first company's stock, hit the like button, share with those looking for similar opportunities, and subscribe to stay ahead if you find value with us. Thank you. All right, starting with NVIDIA stock before the other two that could be the next NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. This company has long been regarded as the undisputed leader in GPU technology. Having evolved from a niche chip maker into the crown jewel of the AI era, a feat that few companies in tech history have accomplished, is a significant achievement. From gaming rigs to data centers, AI labs to autonomous vehicles, NVIDIA's influence extends broadly, and in 2025, it shows no signs of slowing down. Yet, investors are now asking a crucial question. Has NVIDIA already reached its peak, or is this just a pause before the subsequent significant rise? A growth from graphics king to AI superpower. The numbers tell the story. NVIDIA is now the most valuable public company in the world, riding a wave of AI infrastructure investment that shows no signs of slowing down. In Q1 2025 alone, NVIDIA's data center revenue reached $26.3 billion, accounting for nearly 90% of total sales and more than doubling the amount from the same quarter last year. At the heart of it all? The Grace Blackwell Superchip, GB200, a powerhouse system that combines NVIDIA's cutting-edge GPUs with a custom CPU and a lightning-fast interconnect. Tech giants like Dell, Cisco, and Supermicro are queuing up to secure their share of the GB200 before it sells out. Yet, there is NVIDIA's paradox. The shortage of its chips might be its most significant advantage. The scarcity of the standalone B200 GPU is prompting enterprise clients to opt for the more expensive, higher-margin GB200 racks. This result further increases NVIDIA's revenue without needing higher chip volumes. Bernstein estimates that $750 billion is currently being invested in next-gen data centers, an arms race fueled by AI models from OpenAI, Google, Anthropic, and XAI that are capable of reasoning. NVIDIA plays a central role in this rush, offering the only scalable solution capable of providing the compute power and bandwidth needed to support these systems. From Microsoft acquiring nearly half a million GPUs last year to Chinese companies proposing the installation of over 115,000 NVIDIA chips, the demand for NVIDIA's AI hardware has skyrocketed worldwide. Yet geopolitical risk remains significant. U.S. export restrictions remain a key element in NVIDIA's global sales strategy, particularly regarding the sale of advanced chips to China. Although rumors of underground supply chains and black market chips persist, analysts agree that no secret network can yet support data center scale volumes. With NVDA shares trading above $159 and market sentiment reaching euphoria, it's fair to ask if the stock is already priced for perfection. NVIDIA currently commands high multiples, and while that reflects its dominant position in AI, any supply chain disruption or broader slowdown in AI spending could cause the stock to fall. Still, NVIDIA's ability to capture multiple profit streams, from hardware and software to cloud services and AI platforms, gives it a rare advantage. Its vertically integrated approach, strong partnerships with hyperscalers, and unmatched performance benchmarks make it more than just a chip maker. It's the backbone of the AI revolution. Meanwhile, NVIDIA's influence continues to expand internationally. In Europe, French startup Mistral, supported by the UAE's $100 billion MGX AI fund, is collaborating with NVIDIA to develop the continent's largest AI data center. With over $1 billion in new equity funding and support from the government, Mistral's partnership with NVIDIA could strengthen its position in key global markets and boost its long-term growth. From Abu Dhabi to Paris, from Azure to AWS, everyone wants a piece of NVIDIA's AI muscle. There's no doubt NVIDIA has had a historic run. Its dominance in GPU computing and AI hardware, 
combined with its end-to-end -end data center solutions, has elevated it to a rarefied level. But whether it stays the undisputed AI leader or becomes the Cisco of the 2020s will depend on its ability to navigate. Persistent chip shortages, export restrictions, and political risk. Rising competition from AMD and startups like Tenstorrent and investor expectations that are now sky high. For forward-looking investors, NVIDIA remains a core holding in any AI-first portfolio. But new entrants must tread carefully. This stock may be a rocket ship, but even rockets need fuel. The long-term story remains bullish, but savvy investors will want to keep a close eye on valuation, supply chain updates, and upcoming earnings reports. Is NVIDIA still a good buy? That depends. Do you believe AI's most significant advances are still to come? A strategic look at entry points in 2025 can help you make informed investment decisions. With NVIDIA stock closing at $160 on July 9th, up 2.11% on the day and extending its climb in after-hours trading, the question on every investor's mind is straightforward. Has NVIDIA peaked, or is there more fuel left in the AI rocket ship? After a meteoric year-to-date recovery and a breakout above $150, NVIDIA now hovers near all-time highs, peaking at $164.47 in late June. Fueled by record-setting demand for AI infrastructure, next-generation chip releases, and unmatched pricing power, the company is commanding investor attention like few others. But with a sharp climb like this, is it still a good investment, or should you wait for a better entry point? From our technical analysis, it is the calm after the surge. The current price action suggests NVIDIA is consolidating just under its new highs. While momentum is strong, the risk of short-term overextension is a genuine concern. Here's a strategy breakdown. Near-term pullback buyers may look for an entry around $147, a previous resistance level that has now become potential support. Value-focused investors may wait for a deeper correction toward the $125 zone, which aligns with mid-May consolidation levels and represents approximately a 50% discount from peak levels earlier this year. These zones offer risk-reward setups for long-term investors willing to stomach some volatility while betting on NVIDIA's long-term dominance in AI and GPU computing. Let's not forget the bigger picture. NVIDIA controls over 80% of the AI GPU market. Q1 2025 saw data center revenue reach $26.3 billion, representing a 100% year-over-year increase. The highly anticipated GB200 superchip has become the industry standard for cutting-edge AI infrastructure. Massive tailwinds from U.S. and global data center investments, totaling $750 billion in development globally, signal ongoing secular growth. Even at 11x, 15x forward sales, NVDA's premium valuation is tied directly to its ability to out-execute everyone else in the field. Its dominance in compute, memory integration, chip design makes it less of a speculative bet and more of an AI infrastructure monopoly. Momentum chasers may continue riding the current breakout. Smart money investors may look to scale in around $147, where prior resistance may become support. Deep value hunters should keep a close eye on the $125 area, a compelling entry if market volatility returns. Either way, NVIDIA isn't just a tech stock anymore. It's the operating system of AI. Just remember, while past performance paints a promising picture, no stock rises forever. Stick to your strategy, manage your entry points wisely, and don't forget to hedge with proper risk management. If you're one of those looking for the next NVIDIA, you should pay close attention to either of the next two stocks, as both indicate a huge investment opportunity for long-term investors. Celestica Ticker CLS, the silent powerhouse, riding the electronics manufacturing wave. While many investors are laser-focused on the usual tech titans and AI darlings, Celestica has quietly carved out a niche as one of the most formidable players in the electronics manufacturing world, and the stock's 67.9% year-to-date surge proves it. Celestica's growth trajectory has not only outpaced the broader electronics manufacturing services industry, which grew 44.7%, but it has also outperformed peers like Jabil, JBL, and Sanmina. That's not just impressive, it's elite company. And yet, this stock remains under the radar for most retail investors. Celestica's strength lies in its broad sector exposure, which includes aerospace and defense industrial communications and enterprise health tech, capital equipment, including semiconductors and displays. This diversification makes the company more resilient than its competitors in single industries. By reducing reliance on any one segment, 
Celestica minimizes the effects of downturns in specific markets, a strategy that helped it perform better during tech setbacks. Add to this a strong R&D culture and constantly improving capabilities in engineering, design, and supply chain integration. You start to see why major global tech and industrial companies trust Celestica as a partner in scaling high-complexity products. Celestica has been posting impressive balance sheet health in 2025, current ratio 1.43 versus 1.19 industry average, strong liquidity times interest earned, 11.4, nearly doubling year-to-date, improved debt management, debt to capital, 37.7%, below the industry's 45.9%, indicating strategic leverage control. With revenue expected to increase nearly 11% year-over-year to $2.65 billion, and EPS projected to grow 35.2% in the current quarter, investors are starting to pay attention. Despite the positive outlook, Celestica faces its challenges. The data center infrastructure race is heating up as Jabil and Sanmina take bold steps. Sanmina's $3 billion acquisition of ZT Systems' data center business from AMD could challenge Celestica's position in the AI infrastructure market. Global exposure, while beneficial for market reach, makes Celestica vulnerable to geopolitical tensions, currency fluctuations, and shifting trade policies. The advanced technology solutions segment continues to be a margin drain, with macroeconomic uncertainty impacting its performance. With a forward PE of 30.65, Celestica trades at a premium compared to the sector average of 21.91. However, supported by strong double-digit earnings growth, sector leadership, and cross-industry momentum, some investors may see this valuation as justified for potential long-term gains. The investment outlook remains a stock worth watching. For those seeking exposure to next-generation electronics manufacturing without the hype of large-cap giants, Celestica presents a compelling choice. Its momentum, financial strength, and capacity to operate in complex global markets make it an appealing mid-cap growth stock. Although competition is intense and risks persist, Celestica shows signs of a company ready to expand its leadership in high-growth industries, primarily if it invests more in innovation in AI, aerospace, and industrial automation. Celestica is no longer just a contract manufacturer. It's evolving into a vital driver of global tech infrastructure. Investors looking for steady strength, strategic growth, and resilience in a volatile market should keep CLS firmly on their radar. If you're looking to add a pure-play quantum stock to your future-focused portfolio, D-Wave Quantum Inc. QBTS stands out as a rare gem. While most quantum computing companies are still pitching blue-sky visions, D-Wave is delivering real-world value today with operational systems, blue-chip clients, and accelerating commercial momentum. The risks are real, but so is the potential. With a current market capitalization of nearly $5.2 billion and a PS ratio exceeding 200x, QBTS is priced for growth. The valuation is aggressive. But for those who believe quantum computing is nearing its inflection point, D-Wave offers one of the cleanest entry points into this emerging frontier. QBTS is not for the risk averse. It's volatile, richly valued, and operating in a deep tech sector still defining its business model. But suppose you're looking to build exposure to bleeding edge innovation. In that case, Government-backed enterprise adoption and tangible quantum product deployment, D-Wave Quantum, is arguably the most commercially credible investment in this space today. For growth-focused investors with long-time horizons, QBTS could be the high-risk, high-reward asset your portfolio is missing. Which of these three stocks would you consider? Share your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video.